Whew. It was a long weekend. Uh, this Saturday night, I want to say thank you for Moses from Vancouver. On Point Junk Removal was here this weekend. So was IE Junk Removal from California. Jeff was here. He was so cool. I love Jeff. And then we had some local guys like GPTX Junk Removal Orson, who rides with me almost, almost every other day. And also Clinton Ritter. Clinton Ritter from CR Junk Removal up in the McKinney area. He was here this weekend. We went out. Uh, we went out, had a great time. Then we went dancing, but we had a dinner. And we talked about Junk Removal. It was a really cool um, event that we had. It was a meet and eat and dance. Something like that. But while we were there, we were talking about goals. And those are a lot of things that we talked about. Uh, goals in junk removal and how to set goals in junk removal. So one of my goals in the junk removal space is going to be a lot different from everybody. Everybody's going to have different goals in junk removal, first of all. Everybody's going to run their business a certain way in junk removal. So everybody's going to have different methods, different ideas, different theories to how the business is going to be and how their business is going to grow. I'm going to tell you something that having goals overall is important. Having goals to grow your business is such an essential part of establishing a good junk removal service. These goals are something that you can look forward to. These goals are something that your business needs so it can grow. This is not something that should be easily just thrown to the side. I think goals are very, very important in any junk removal space. For instance, we're in my warehouse right now. This was a goal of mine to have a second headquarters in the Fort Worth area and we made it happen. It came early, but it was a goal. And it worked out, so that's a good thing. Everybody needs goals. Now, with that said, having ideas for you to grow your business and having things that you can do to help your business grow are such a huge part of the direction that your business is going to go and this junk removal uh, business of yours is going to survive. If it survives or not, and, and some of those ideas and methods that you implement and those, even those goals that you implement are going to be so important to your junk removal business because something that you think of now is going to reflect on your junk removal six months from now. And, and it's very, very important that you stick to these ideas and these methods of yours so you can accomplish accomplish your goals but it's important to set your goals okay so i thought of some ideas uh, of how people can make goals and these just suggestions for people uh we're in the warehouse right now by the way guys and i'm just walking around in circles right now i'm looking for something that i can't find i'm going to go outside so let's talk about those goals that people can implement and these are just goals that i had set for myself um <laughs> this is pretty funny. I was at my house and I was looking through some books, uh, photo albums, and I found a ledger of mine. And this ledger was like my schedule, but also my calendar for the day. And it was pretty funny what I found in it. Um, so let me show it to you because I, I think it's something really hilarious, but important. At the time, I thought it was funny. Now I look at it, I think it's funny, but I think it's so important right now that we take a look at it so I can do this video and y'all can understand what I'm talking about, okay? So goals in junk removal, oops. And this was in 2014. 2014, I set these goals for my junk removal business. Get 20 junk removal jobs per month, 20 of them. So I was trying to average out at least five jobs a week. That's not bad. Five jobs a week, uh, four weeks, 20 jobs. That's not bad, and that was, my, that was my goal. Post on Facebook once a day. Not bad, not bad. And you know what, I, I look at this and I think, man, getting 20 jobs per, per month, I do that in two days, you know? And, and it's, it's just how my business grew and how I managed to make 
this be something you know what I mean be something that feeds my family that feeds uh, my business and not only that but feeds my other businesses I'm not naive to know that posting on Facebook once a day wow if if only back then I knew now what I'm doing on where I post like ridiculous amounts getting 200 visitors on my website per month well I easily do that I easily do that uh, and the only one that I didn't do was this one and uh, it's received five customer reviews per month I don't do that at all I, I don't even try to ask my customers for reviews okay um, and responding to customers within three hours so those were my five goals I had set out get 20 junk removal jobs per month post on Facebook once um, every um, day get 200 visitors per month which I easily do and then receive five customer reviews per month now that was the only goal that I didn't accomplish and responding to customers within three hours so if they leave me a message or a, a booking or something or um, text me that I would you know easily get get with them uh, in, in less than three hours so that's not so bad you know and, and it was a goal that I had set in 2014 2014 almost what, what, what how many 10 years ago it was an accomplishment that I wanted to do but it was important to me to accomplish that and I said it and you know what it worked it worked it helped me grow my business to what it is right now it is so important that people you set your goals now those were my goals that's my opinion but if you want to set your own goals I think you should do those goals and it's funny looking at my ledger my scheduler I guess I guess I guess I'm gonna call it my schedule looking at my scheduler I had set this in 2014 and now how my business is you know I got two headquarters one in Dallas one in Fort Worth I have five trucks 10 or 12 trailers on the property and it's just so in this co-op space that I'm building right now that's gonna be done June 1st this is gonna be done June 1st oh we're not painting anything don't get me wrong we're not painting anything but we're fixing up everything in here there's not gonna be anything that looks like it's trash anymore the buildings gonna look rough but I mean this is a co-op space right this isn't like a place where where you know people are gonna come I mean people are gonna come to buy stuff but they're buying stuff from the junk you know for junk that's the only reason that would come you know 16 years ago 16 years when I started junk removal did I ever think I would have a headquarters like this did I ever think that I would set forth on myself on my finances a building like this did I ever think that way look how big this place is man it's it's awesome look at that did I ever think that no man sure didn't and look what I have now guys man anybody can accomplish this I try to tell y'all all the time just keep on working at it it will come out it will work out for you man your business will eventually get to this place man it will it will get to this place where you will be able to grow your business if you set your goals right set your goals now grow your business and accomplish the things that you want in life yep. I'm working hard now for my future that's what I'm doing right now and I've told a lot of my friends that I'm not gonna be doing this for another 10 years there's no way I'm doing this for another 10, 10 years I'm 48 years old I'm gonna be 49 this year and I've been doing this for 16 years and my goal is to do it for another seven years so when I'm 55 hopefully I can fall back on my uh, haunted house I can fall back on an easier less um, grueling job but I'm gonna kill myself right now I'm gonna work hard I'm gonna put my body through a lot of things right now while I grow this business right now and that's my goal right now so that's my goal that's my future I'm growing junk removal 
as much as I can for the next seven years and then I shouldn't be doing this for that much longer okay guys so that's my goal my goal is to fall back on my haunted house grow my haunted house as best as I could and that's it that's it man um, but I'm not naive to tell everybody that junk removal is what got me here that's my heart and soul that's my heart and soul but also I'm also not naive to know that my haunted house is a cash cow for my business my future and everything I stand for okay guys I'm not naive to that anyway set your goals aim for that path that you should take for those goals and maintain your business the right way and it will pay off for you guys okay now don't forget also that uh, Matt and Jojo have a junk expo coming up October 25th y'all got to go check it out guys it's gonna be awesome uh, it's gonna be a huge huge part for the a huge thing for the junk removal industry and I can't wait to uh, for to see what happens and have people go out there and see how it is man it, it, it's gonna be awesome anyway guys uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, uh, hit the like button, and I will see y'all later. Set those goals in mind. Bye-bye.